I recently uploaded a video of how I repainted my 52-year-old MGB in my home garage on a bank holiday weekend. Looking back, it probably took about 52 hours of constant graft on that car. Prepping it, painting it, flattening it, polishing it, polishing it, polishing it. Oh my word, the effort I put into that car. But hard work pays off and it looks fantastic. I've taken it to some car shows and everybody that's in it has given me good comments. So really pleased. Anyway, recently I went to the Goodwood Revival and I parked next to an old MGB in Tartan Red. Great looking old car, but not like the green that I've done. But it was a great looking car. A really great looking car. My God, that red looks good. But hey, I'm not going to repaint my car because the effort that I put in was so much. But was it so much? God, that red looks good. It looks really good. Oh, well, I'm going to do it again. She's going red. So when I painted the car, the compressor I was using spat out tiny little droplets of water, which gave these little dimples. So to get rid of them, I'm using a few different sanders. If they're really bad, we've got an empty grip. It's quite fierce. But it eats through the lacquer and gets this out semi-flat finish. After the 80, I'm using a 150. And then to prep it to finish, I'm using a 500 grade. So the next step is to wipe the surface clean and then look for any tiny imperfections like there. When you see that, we'll dab a little bit of a touch up pen in those holes. And then once that's dry, we'll go over that with this super fine sandpaper until the whole body is silky and smooth. So when it comes to the windscreen surround, all I've done is I've lifted up the rubber and I put a small piece of wire underneath there and it's lifted it up about five or six millimetres all the way around and then we taped up the rubber and what that's going to allow is the new paint to go underneath the rubber so once it's done and we take the wire out it'll lay back on it and look perfect It's paint day So, the seams on MGB are always a pain you get little tiny cracks and gaps and imperfections along them so what I've done is I've mixed up some Two pack climber, very thick, and I've gone along here with a paintbrush. Yeah, a paintbrush, and I've filled in all the small imperfections. I've then used some sandpaper and I've gone along it so it's really silky smooth. So that two pack climber has got into all the little gaps and made it perfect. So to get the car ready for its paint, I've blown all the dust off with a Makita air blower, which has got most of it off. So then I've gone along it with the airline. And finally, I'm using a tack cloth just to make sure we're dust free. Now when you paint a car, you need to check the air temperature and the humidity in the room. Because if there's any damp in the air, the paint finish will look like the sanded part and it'll be white and murky. So to get around that, you need to raise the ambient air temperature and warm it up. So to do that, I follow my wife's hair dryer, which is slowly warming the temperature. And as long as she doesn't see this video, I'll be alright. But if she does, oh. let's try a little experiment. Same pump, same car, same garage. The only difference is professional painter. <laughs>
another busy weekend is over and the green car is no more. What do you reckon? That's a bit better than the green.